Hey everyone, how are you doing? We are in the month of love and you know what it means. This is the opportunity for you to make your loved ones feel so special. And one of the ways we are going to do this is by creating a beautiful design in Canva we are going to share with them on Valentine's Day. So let's dive into it. But before we even go into it, look, show me some love by hitting on the subscribe button so we can grow this community to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And just in case you're on the free version to Canva, the love I'm sharing with you is that there's a link in the description box below that will help you upgrade to Canva Pro for free. So make sure to check it out as well and i have so many templates it has been linked down there in the description box below without any further ado let's jump straight into our lovely poster Okay, so this is what we are simply going to do and uh, what I'm just going to say is add a new page. The dimension I am using is 1080 by 1350. The first thing you're going to do is to press R on your keyboard, okay, to add this beautiful line or shape or whatever we have in here. Okay, then come into color. You can change the color to any color at all, but we are going to use this pink over here. The color code is FF5278, okay? Then make sure you're coming into element, just search for rose, um, rose flowers, okay? So flowers, okay, so then come into photos. All right, there are so many ones over here, but this is what I want. Okay, so I will just rotate it to 90 degrees. If you are struggling to rotate this to 90 degrees, come to position and you know under a range you should see the rotate just hit on 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees okay then click on any of the edges and drag them okay so you have something like this then what we are simply going to do next is to click on this image let me make it look perfect okay perfect okay then come into edit photo make sure you're finding blur okay uh -huh. then come to whole image and increase the intensity to maybe 49 or any amount you want this is what we have at the moment okay so now what we are simply going to do next is select the image come to transparency and reduce the transparency to any transparency type of your choice this is what i want and it should lead us to the next step which is hitting no don't hit anywhere come to you know your element and just close this up okay then make sure you're searching for heart Okay, so select this and we can see we have this hat image over here. So beautiful because this love is huge and my love for you knows no boundaries. That's, you know, <laughs> okay, okay, don't mind me. Okay, now come into upload, okay, and no, for you going to element and search for love. Okay, so love. In fact, let me just come to element and do that to love. And we would have so many options in here. But just in case you don't find the kind of love you are looking for, what you can do is you can check in the description box below. I have linked a specific love um, icon or element in, in there. Okay, so that you can just follow what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Okay, so come into your upload. By now, you should have uploaded it. Okay and you should have it in here so select it and with this i've added a little blur to it and what you can do to have the same effect is to come into edit photo come into blur whole image and you can just increase the blur a little bit okay yeah that's all i did now we are going to spread the love across the whole image and i'm going to show you how to do it then i speed up the whole process of me actually doing it okay so let's dive into it so i would make it smaller just like i have it over here then i press all to my keyboard click and move okay and we have it like this that's a quick way to duplicate okay nice one then we just do it okay so we first of all want to cover the edges okay and i'll maybe move this down a little bit and i would make this also maybe a little bit smaller okay so yeah that's simply what we are going to do then you can move any of them okay so you can see what is happening very nice so you can be creating various variations of this size okay you click it make it bigger and maybe put it there nice one just like that okay so that's what we are going to be doing okay so you can put this one over here press and hold alt click and move it okay so that's all we are just going to do to make sure it surrounds everything okay
Alright, so you can see what we have been able to create right now and I think this is looking very, very beautiful. So to make sure we are not really moving things around because now it's a lot of hats, okay? So this is what we are simply going to do. Select the background alone and lock it, okay? Lock it. Then select everything over here, then use Ctrl G to group it or you can right click. You should see group, okay? So you just choose group right now because it's grouped. The only option here is to ungroup. So if I click it, it on groups. If I right click, I can group it. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Anyway, now that we have this, we are going back into element and search for blur lab. You know, because lab is blind. So sometimes it can make your vision blur. Okay, <laughs> then you can choose any of these um, hats in here. Okay, but there should be one that is like reddish or pinkish. Okay, and this is up to you depending on the type you are looking for. Okay, so this is the one I want. I will choose this and maybe position it here and send it all the way to the back. Okay, then what I can simply do is to duplicate it. Okay, yeah, I think this is the red one. Uh -huh, so just make sure you're finding it if you want. Okay, then let's duplicate it like how we did the hats okay so you press and hold alt and just duplicate things around let me delete this um pink one we have over here i don't want it okay so this is what we have at the moment okay it's equal to making it red but this one because it's not a solid color you know it makes it look a little bit soft okay yeah that's the nice part of it interesting so this is what we have then one more thing we would need to do is to add our text okay no, it's not one more thing. There are actually some few extra things we need to do. And I'll just say Valentine. So Valentine. Okay. Then we increase the size. Something like this. I'll come here and choose this font. Shadow scripts. Okay. But you can use any script font of your choice. So shadow script should bring it here. Then come into color. Make it white. Come into effect. Okay. In effect, we're going to choose the shadow okay then here i'm going to choose black for it so that the white can stand out make sure you're decreasing the offset and increasing the blur okay so something like this should be fine okay valentine and i'll duplicate this and bring it here and i'll say be my valentine okay so i'll put this here and reduce the size okay but i'll change the font so i'll come here and choose the Brie Serif, B-R-E-E-S-E-R-I-F, Be My Valentine. Wow, that's so cute. You know, the ladies will be saying, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice one. Then come back, you know, into your upload, especially upload. Then choose the hat, okay? So you can choose the hat, come into edit photo, come to blur and increase the blur. Okay, make it more blurry. Then go back and over here you can just duplicate and you know put us here just to give your design some depth okay so something like this then i would maybe put a few more here and we can also do this and rotate it something like that okay so maybe this will come down here this can come up here and this maybe in a little bit inside something like this any ways okay then we can duplicate it and also make it smaller okay but you know it should spread across you know it should be like a lot of hats flying around and all that you know you know what i mean yeah so this one can be here this one can also be here you know we have this we have this we can make this smaller you know just spreading things across lovely 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 then come back into your element and search for clouds c-l-o-u-d-s clouds okay then choose any cloud of your choice i'll put this here because when you are in love you know you just don't feel anything you know love is such a beautiful thing you know so yeah it's like you're in cloud nine that kind of feeling so we'll put some clouds in here and this should be fine then one of the things we'd also want to do is to add some extra brie font okay so duplicate this and i would say my love for you has no boundaries so my love for you has no boundaries okay or no snow boundaries then i'll just you know something like this then we just put it here 
okay then we can bring this in front lovely okay just to let you know that look nothing can stop us from loving you this is what we have created i hope you found it helpful i hope you also found it useful just in case you're looking for more exclusive canva tutorials please make sure to subscribe hit on the like button to support the video and share this video with your canva friends i hope this valentine's day your loved one gets to feel special with this design you have created for them the name is benjamin osh remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next tutorial peace